So all this comes out of here together. <clears throat> it's like a little breather with a flap on it. Helps keep the oil in. And inside here would be our valves. You should be able to see in there to our valves. If I pump the spark plug out, we should be able to turn this engine over, which we can, and we will see our valves, of course, working. And uh, what we're looking for is a valve clearance. So in here, you can see this. Right there, there should be a valve clearance in between our, basically our push rod and the bottom of our valve. So right here, this would be the exhaust side, this would be the intake side. And with our, our exhaust valve pushed, we should be able to get a feeler gauge in between our valve stem, which we can. So that's a good sign. So what's our spec supposed to be? So our spec is supposed to be intake of eight to 12 thousandths and exhaust is supposed to be 12 thousandths. So eight fits really good in there right now. And I bet, let's go like right to 10. Let's try 10 thousandths. 10 does not, oh, ten, yep, there we go, 10 does fit. So it looks like we're pretty well right in the middle on that one. So let's spin this around and get the intake valve lifted up. Now, what's our exhaust valve? Because our exhaust valve, of course, was the one that was giving us all of the issue. So do we have 8 thousandths on our exhaust valve? We do not. We do not have that at all. What is our measurement out of curiosity? Let's see. Can we get uh, four thousandths in there? Yep, we cannot even get four thousandths in between our valves. So this is what I would call stuck open all but. And I think we'll know that better once we get our head off of here and we can see our valves from up top. So let's go ahead and pop up there next before we take these out and just see what the top side looks like.